A News 2 I-Team investigation. April is Fair Housing Month. The president of the Charleston Trident Urban League says it's a good time to remind all renters of their rights and protections. Questions about renters' rights is a topic the I-Team frequently gets from you. Well, some of the biggest issues is that so many cases of uh, discrimination go unreported. Uh, so one of the things that we want to do is uh, encourage and empower the community uh, to uh, report instances of fair housing infractions or discrimination. Tonight, our I-Team is breaking down the protections our laws provide you if you're a renter. News 2's Rebecca Collette has more on the story. She was forced to move after her husband's death. So I figured I'd get in this apartment, I can settle down, and I can finally grieve over my husband. Now living on her own in an apartment in North Charleston, she's dealing with challenges she didn't expect, like chip paint, dirty carpet, and a countertop separating from the wall in the bathroom. Just don't fall for anything, fight back. The complex replaced part of the carpet in the living room, but fixes have just been too slow for Lisa Chisholm. Frustrated after living here a couple of months, Chisholm called the News 2 I team. It's one of the questions we get most often. What are my renter rights and how do I fight to get what I'm paying for? In South Carolina, uh, uh, landlords and tenants are protected under state law. Patrick Arnold with the Trident Realtors Association says landlords must keep a home habitable. They may not be required to change things that are uh, cosmetic in nature. Under state law, landlords must provide running hot water and heat, electric, gas, plumbing, sanitation, and ventilation. Appliances, including elevators, must also be in working condition. And air conditioning is only required if there's a system already in place. Under the law, landlords must make all repairs and do whatever is reasonably necessary to put and keep the home in a fit and habitable condition. Repairs must start within two weeks of the request, that waiting game is frustrating to Chisholm. I'm just done with it. I'm just, I'm just done. In some cases, you can work out a deal with your landlord to fix the problem and deduct the cost from your rent, but those terms must be agreed to ahead of time. Your best bet for getting something fixed, document the problem with pictures and send your landlord the details in writing. If I email and I got pictures of our, of when I first came in here, how I was. If you can't get resolution that way, you can file a complaint with the Department of Consumer Affairs, HUD, or even your local code enforcement office. You can report rental issues to the Charleston Trident Urban League as well, and they can help you resolve problems too. As for what fit and habitable actually means, local attorney John Harrell tells me the case law on this is surprisingly unclear and there's no real statutory definition. However, building and fire code compliance is required. I reached out to the apartment complex where Chisholm lives. They haven't responded to my request for an interview or statement, but have contacted her about working on her complaints. Rebecca Collette, News 2. Thank you, Rebecca. If you have something you want the I-Team to investigate, you can email us at I-Team at WCBD.com or you can call the I-Team hotline. That's 843-216-4949.